Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today I want to talk to you about a new watering system that I got. It's called Eden. E-D-Y-N. And I really love it. There are some quirks, but we'll talk about that as I show you what I'm talking about. Here is the Eden Probe. It's about 12 inches and you stick it down into your soil and I like to press it around afterwards and that uh, senses the moisture, the nutrients, the humidity, and the sunlight and that sends the information to your valve and helps it determine when it needs to be watered. Now you don't need to have both of these you can use them individually but I actually like it set for both of them in conjunction because it controls the valve and tells it when to turn on. If it rains, it bypasses. And this tells it how much it needs watering, how frequently, and whether or not your nutrients are right. So it's, it's not really, really cheap, but I'm hoping that it will save me my garden this year and uh, it will also save me some water. So time will tell. As you can see, my cabbage is looking really, really good. It's very, very happy. We'll do another video on the garden, but this will get you started on how we're watering it. And we're using a sprinkler now, not a drip irrigation system. But this works on drip. It works on um, sprinklers. It works on soaker hoses, and you can actually select it. You can also select the plants that you're utilizing. And so it senses from those plants what water it needs. So let me show you my new water hookup. It comes from um, the water coming from the city and it goes into my fertilizer. I love this fertilizer. Works wonderfully. All you do is turn the knob and it turns the fertilizer on. This is a backflow preventer and filter. You drop this into a bucket with your goodies and it'll automatically fertilize everything on the water line. We have our timer for the plants up front and the strawberry bed and then we have just our regular ones that don't go through a timer and my Eden is set on this one right here. That's just my sprinkler system. So then it comes down and there is the Eden valve. So here is the Eden valve. It's got a solar panel on it. It's got a Wi-Fi button to activate and a flash mechanism. So you're going to use your phone over this to connect it. So it's nice to have it handy when you do that. The water comes in and it's on all the time and when the valve says to actuate it, it lets the water run on through. It's a really simple process, but it works really well. What it does is it senses rain and it'll do a bypass, or it'll look at the timer, whether or not uh, you've set one or you've let the sensor set one, and it'll start your water for you. Makes it real simple. It's not real big. But you want to leave it in the sunshine, and it's got to be within Wi-Fi. Both of these, the probe and the valve, have to be within Wi-Fi reception. And that can be troublesome, but we'll show you how that works. So here is the Eden application. And as you can see, it tells you... <laughs> for the month, what the uh, light has been like, humidity for the month, week or day, nutrition for the month or week, and it tells you too much depleted or deficient, which is really nice to have. The moisture 
I just restuck in the plug, so it'll take a while for it to notice what it has. And it tells you what your moisture level is for the day, week, or month. When you go over here, now their plant database is not that great, but it's really easy to utilize. You don't get much variety on what you get to choose, but you can do add a plant and you can either search through or you can do a search and I'm going to type in squash, crookneck squash. Once you select the vegetable, you click Add, and then you decide, did you plant it from seed or a starter plant? And when did you start it? Now or a specific date? And then you can go in and you can choose your date that you say you want to start it, and click Start. And it adds it to your database. So this is what it's going to determine your water needs on, what you have in your database. As you can see, I got bell pepper, butternut squash, crookneck squash, tomato, cabbage, and zucchini. They don't have a green cabbage head, just a red, which I thought was really interesting. But you can make do with what it has in there. And so you can have multiple probes, and you can attach different plants to each probe, which is really exciting. But you got to have a separate valve if you want to auto water. You can actually use this as a determination do you need to turn your water on? So that's nice to have. You don't have to have the valve to do that. And then here is where you add your device. You can add a garden sensor or a water valve. And you've got to be next to the valve to do it. It, uh, it flashes the light into one of the ports. And so you have to have really good Wi-Fi connection because this attaches via Wi-Fi connection. And the screens are really simple. If you want to add one, you say add to a new garden because I don't want it. And then you name your garden. And you can choose in-ground, container, or other. So we'll do container. Native, amended, or potting soil. Indoors, greenhouse, hoop house, or outdoors. So it's pretty exciting, and then it'll go through and it'll add it for you. And you can do that for either one of them. If you look at your gardens, once you've added them, you can see that you have a sensor status, what network you're using, and what the battery level is on your solar panel part of it. Same with the valve. And this will also warn you if it's not connected. What I did was, HughesNet has an application that you can go in and test your Wi-Fi. So I went down to the garden and I went to different spots on that row until I found the best signal. And once I found the best signal, that's where I put my probe. And that's how I was able to get it to work. Because I'm over almost 250 feet away from my Wi-Fi which is really far for Wi-Fi to travel. You can use a Wi-Fi extender. Um, I found that they aren't all that great. At least the one I had wasn't very great. Um, if you want to change your Wi-Fi network and use a different network, you can. And it'll apply it to both of them, which is really good. But it's a really good application. It tells you the temperature outside and what time it is. It tells you here when your next watering is coming. So you can add a one-time event. You can also go in and enable your valves, your smart water, and rain skipping. And then it'll tell you past waterings. It'll tell you how long it's going to run. Now mind you, it can change. And so a lot of times it'll say it's too far in the future that will probably change, and that kind of thing. But that's one of the great things about having the smart valve, where it decides everything for you. And so there's the Eden. Check it out. It's definitely worth the money. Blessings.